Sup Internet? Today we're going to talk about the so-called assault weapons and the absurdity that gun controllers like to use when discussing bans regarding them. First and foremost, the term assault weapon. It's just a boogeyman that gun controllers came up with back in the 80s to try to scare and intimidate the masses into thinking that it's something we need to combat. Despite what the gun controllers claim, American cities are not reminiscent of downtown Beirut circa 1984. And the notion that we need to eliminate all these so-called assault weapons is just built and predicated upon fear. That has no basis in reality. In truth, according to the FBI studies over the past eight years, you are more likely to be murdered by a fist, a foot, a baseball bat, a hammer, a knife, or any other cutting instrument than you are an assault weapon. And this isn't even close. These are by factors of three and four. But that doesn't stop gun controllers from pushing forward the idea that bans need to happen. And considering that most gun controllers seem to get their information from movies, it's no surprise when the authors of such legislation can't even defend it and describe what they want to ban. Case in point, Representative of New York, Carolyn McCarthy. In February, McCarthy. you introduced the Assault Weapons Ban and Law Enforcement Protection Act of 2007. It would regulate semi-automatic assault weapons, including weapons that have pistol grips, a forward grip, and something called a barrel shroud. Weapons with a barrel shroud would be regulated. What's a barrel shroud, and why should we regulate it? I think, I think the more important thing is that it also would have had banned the large capacity clips that right. Colin Ferguson had but used I, and also uh, the killer. Okay. But I, I read the, I read the legislation. I'm sorry, I read the legislation and it said that it would regulate barrel shrouds. What's a barrel shroud and why should we regulate that? The guns that were chosen back in, uh, in those days were basically the guns that most gangs and criminals were using to kill our uh, police okay. officers. I'm not saying it was the best bill, but that okay. was the best Do bill you know they could what get a out at that particular is? time. I actually don't know what a barrel oh, shroud okay, is. I believe it's, in it's your a shoulder thing that goes up. Shoulder thing no, that goes up? Not. Now, I have no idea what she's talking about. And it's clear to see that neither does she. For her information, the barrel shroud is the part of the weapon that protects the shooter's hands from burning while rounds are being fired through. According to many definitions of assault weapons, what I have right here is also an assault weapon. It has a telescoping stock, a pistol grip, and the aforementioned barrel shroud. Now, a lot of you who are familiar with firearms are probably getting a chuckle because this so-called assault weapon is really just a single-shot, breech-loading, 12-gauge shotgun. But, if I were to show this to a gun controller, they would go all Jan Brady on me and say, Assault weapon, assault weapon, assault weapon! Which, of course, is ridiculous. No one's assaulting anything with a single-shot, breech-loading shotgun other than maybe a deer. Now... Unfortunately, for New Yorkers, with the passage of the SAFE Act that Governor Cuomo jammed down their throats in the middle of the night, they are now have to deal with an actual assault ban, which bans pistol grips and telescoping stites. Now, what does that actually do to make the world safer? Nothing. But, it does make it more difficult for New York gun owners to exercise their Second Amendment rights. Not to be discouraged, They've used ingenuity and a little bit of mechanical know-how to get around such draconian gun laws. Take a look. A fixed stock, no pistol grip, and Bob's your uncle, no assault weapon. Now, despite what gun curlers would have you believe, there is no epidemic of assault weapon violence in America. The only epidemic exists in movies that they watch and they gain their information from. And that, just like the definition of an assault weapon in general, is absurd. If you like today's video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and check out my site at bulletsfirst.net. See you next time.